Good morning and welcome to the ADS Securities Markets Update. It's Wednesday, September the 11th of 2014. Beginning with the Asian session today, with which was a busy se session with a collection of economic releases and events from New Zealand, Australia and China. Beginning with New Zealand, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand left the offshore cash rate on hold at 3.5% as widely expected. The bank governor also stated that the offshore cash rate remains below the neutral level, even the neutral levels even after the recent rate hikes and further rate hikes will be data dependent especially on inflation however the New Zealand dollar also failed to rally as the bank stated that the New Zealand dollar level remain unjustified and unsustainable so far the Kiwi fell below 0 0.82 today reaching as low as 81.48 and meanwhile further declines could be seen in the next few days toward the key support area which stand at 81.38 as it represents its 200 week moving average in Australia the jobs report came in much better than expected. The economy added a record jobs in August with 121,000 new jobs comparing to a decline of 4.1 thousand in July, while the estimates were to add 15.2 thousand new jobs only. Moreover, the unemployment rate fell to 6.1% 6, uh, 6 in August, down from 6.4% in July, what had been anticipated again to decline slightly to 6.3% only. The note of improvements comes in or, or came in from uh, the participation rate, which increased to the highest level since September of 2012 at 65.2% in August, up from 64.8%. Finally, most of the jobs that were created in August were part-time jobs with more than 106,000 jobs, while the full-time jobs rose by 1 or 14.3 thousand jobs only. The Aussie uh, rallied across the board, rising the most against the Kiwi today with 0.80%, which and reaching as high as 1.1227 so far. However, the Aussie dollar advanced by 0.44% as well, and the price action suggests a continual selling on the rallies. The pair is testing, or the pair is testing the 200-day moving average again at 9180s. The weekly or a weekly uh, close below that support would clear the way for further declines ahead. The uh, head and shoulder formation also remain valid, and uh, the pair uh, reached out or reached the first uh, target that we mentioned in our report yesterday at 9130s. While the next target remains at the 0 0.9080, which could be seen in the next few days. In China, today's uh, or the inflation figures were released and came in with another disappointment, declining more than expected. The year, the, the year over year CPI eased back to 2% in August, down from 2.3% in July, while the estimates were to decline slightly to 2.2%, and this is also the lowest reading since May. As for the European session today, there are two economic releases only, but before that, we will highlight the latest development on the Scottish referendum. Yesterday and during the US session, a Scottish newspaper reported the uh, latest poll has 53% are, are against the independence, while 47 are supporting it. However, this poll excludes the 90% who hasn't decided yet. The British pound rallied to 62.20s, however, it eased back to 61.80s so far, as the selling on rallies also continues. Meanwhile, the fears of the referendum is likely to keep the pound under pressure and will overshadow any fundamentals until the re results are released next week on September 19th. Now, as for the European uh, figures today, there are two inflation figures from Germany and France, which are likely to have any notable impact on the market. In Germany, final CPI is set to be unrevised, with no change at, in August. Uh, and uh, in France, the monthly CPI is expected to rise by 0.4% in August, comparing to a decline of 0.3% in July. In the U.S. session today, there's only also one economic figure will be released, which may have a limited impact on the markets. The weekly jobs claims may uh, uh, rise uh, further to 306,000 last week, up from 302,000 the week before. This is it for today. You can follow us on our social media sites, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube to get the latest economic releases, reports, and analysis. Thank you for watching.